Today we're out at Park Kilo 1012, and the reason we're here was to do parks in the air, but also we're going to compare the audio quality of the ICOM IC705 on the receive versus the new Zygu or Shagu X6100. Guys, it's going to be a no-brainer, but let me go show you, and then we'll come back and talk about it maybe inside in a few minutes. The Shagu X6100 with all filters enabled and automatic gain control set to auto. With noise reduction enabled, I get this weird ducting effect with the audio, and it almost sounds like it might be a codec issue within Linux, but I can't be certain. Let me know if you heard it as well. Uh, I put it out there uh, in the back of the tent. You know. Best investments in uh, HF radio that I've had there. Go ahead. Yeah, fine business. I really enjoy this radio. <clears throat> I'm going to let you go. There's some others calling. I look forward to working you down the log. Have a happy holiday. Thanks for the chat. 7-3. All right, you too, Paul. Thanks for coming back to me. Doing a great job with 50 watts. All the best from San Antonio. Kilo Alpha 1, uh, Mike, Tingo, Oscar, Kilo 5, Romeo, Whiskey, Delta. All the best, 73. To be as close as possible, I had two NFED half waves, which were of the same brand, and they were hooked up next to each other. This was for receive only. And this is the test results that I was receiving. Yeah, yeah, doing a good job. A nice setup. Uh, you're doing a good job with just a wire antenna, man. I've got you at about a 5.7, uh, 57 into San Antonio. You're only running 100 watts. I'm running uh, quite a bit more. Uh, I'm running a kilowatt over here. That's probably why my signal is so strong over there on your side. So uh, doing a great uh, job. Aaron, nice to meet you. The name here is Darwin Delta Alfa Romeo Whiskey India November. Roger. Congratulations on the K4. I'm on the list for the K4 Hotel Delta. I think you said it was just K4 Delta. I'm on the list for a K4 Hotel Delta. I don't know when that will be, but maybe another year or so, maybe a year or more. If we're talking the receiving of signals, the 6100 did pretty good next to the 705. I will say that the 705 has a better reputation of being able to get signals of weaker strength and make them legible audio. The key takeaway, though, is the audio on the 6100 sounds weak compared to the 705. The 705 has a much fuller sound as you could hear. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? This is Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Uniform Golf. Nothing heard. This is Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Uniform Golf. Calling CQ test. CQ test. Testing with W9FFF. This is Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Uniform Golf. CQ test. CQ test, this is Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Uniform Golf, calling CQ test for W9, Fox, Fox, Fox. Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Uniform Golf, calling CQ test, CQ test for W9, Fox, Fox, Fox. This is Kilo Delta 9, Romeo Uniform Golf, calling CQ test. Okay, so I think the thing to kind of make note of here was he sounded really awkward the first time um and i adjusted the mic gain higher and he sounded distorted uh when the mic gain was 15 so we brought the mic gain down now under 10 and he sounds a lot more natural but i was getting bad audio reports there's a lot of echo in here and i think what's happening is i think that it's because it's overly compressed through the linux kernel uh probably they're using the mpg one two three uh 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 codec there we go and i'm thinking that the mpg123 codec is compressing this way too much because he almost sounds that way do it again if you did if you could cq test cq test kd9 rug calling cq test for w9 fox 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 basically i don't hear any of the bases it's like they they clip the levels of the lows and the highs and i think that's uh, maybe what we hear now all right, I'm back, and I'll tell you what, it was cold out there, so I came back here to the office to talk just a little bit about the sound comparisons, and I'm by no means trying to put down any company. I just do think that the that weird filtering sound that you're hearing, like a vibration tone on the noise reduction for the 6100, none of my other radios seem to do that. And if I got something wrong, I'd be more than happy to know, but it seems like that shouldn't happen. And it happens whether the setting's on 1 or if it's on 11. So that seemed kind of weird. 
But in all fairness, here's what I'm going to do because it seems like that issue continually occurs. I'm going to plug in the, the 6100 again, and I'm going to go through the the headphone speaker into my mixer here with no filters enabled on my mixer, just kind of giving you the raw audio, how it sounds. And maybe you'll hear it a little bit better, but I'm going to go through each filter individually. Actually, I lied. I'm only going to show you the noise reduction and uh, I'm going to turn it off first and you could hear the radio and its natural sound. And then we're going to turn it on and we're going to have the letting level at zero. And then we're going to go all the way up to 16 and you'll see no difference or very little difference. I want you to listen to the audio and tell me what you think. But then uh, finally, I think it's important for me to note one more thing. That is, if I go into this radio and I'm on 7.240 where the people are actually communicating, it sounds like it's about 10K uh, high. So I have to go down to 7.239.90. And I'll show that to you as well. Actually, let's listen to it first here. Right now, I'm on 7.240. And now I'm going to go to 239.90. So it seems like we have a little bit of an issue here with uh, with the frequency actually being unstable for the receive. Uh, but let's go ahead and now we're going to go ahead and just listen for a second. And I'll give you the thumbs up or I'll smile when we're going to change the digital uh the digital noise reduction or the noise reduction on. Right now I'm on the 239.90. I'll change it up to 40 just so you hear it. Okay, and so I think you get the point there that the noise reduction, even on setting zero, the depth sounds horrible. We're going to turn it all the way up. There's actually no difference there. And uh, I know that there's been some people in my comments in my chat who said, you don't notice it? And I didn't. At first, I swear to you, I didn't notice it. But then all of a sudden, as time progressed with this radio, I've noticed it more and more. The noise reduction is definitely kind of awkward. So I'm going to leave you all with that. You got to see what it sounded like compared to the 705 at a Parks on the Air. You got to uh, you got to kind of get up close and personal with this thing hooked directly into a mixer, and you got to hear that it sounds like it's 10k off, and you got to see that the noise reduction, even when you adjust the levels, doesn't seem to make a difference. But uh, hey, I'm not here again to bash the product. I just want you to be well aware if you're looking to purchase this radio, what you might be looking out for. I do think that a lot of these bugs we're going to call them are actually going to be fixable uh once we're you know temporarily offline has been working on hacking this device and we're going to rebuild the we're going to rebuild the interface and we're going to basically make our own uh interface for this radio and when you do that you should be able to change a lot of these settings that are off or weren't correctly configured by zaiku or shegu uh but with that guys thanks for watching the channel let me know what you want to see below and until next time you take care have a great one 73 Bye.